Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel and another episode of It's Jenkins. This episode of It's Jenkins is brought to you by Quick Sell. Shop well. Shop Quick Sell. You got that? Okay, so last episode showed our third lance. Well, I mean, it, it was a bad fight. And I think part of it, I, I don't know if it was partially my fault. They did have a lot of ranged heavy mechs at the end, which was a tough fight. But we did manage to get out of there okay. Um... We didn't lose too much. If we go to the mech bay, I can show you where I'm at right now. So it's about a month past where we were. And the banner snatch has lo like, been loaded out. The two um, targeting systems that we picked up uh, a few days back, um, the uh, tier three optics comp uh, compensators, or sorry, <laughs> optics computers. Uh, one of them went into the Orion. Um, because we only had a zoom on this one. So we got that one updated. And I think the other one went on the Perseus because we didn't have one at all. So that's on this mech now. And let me think now. So we took out the Centurion. And I brought forward a whole bunch of mechs. And just basically got rid of them. So the uh, the Merlin. the There was one um, urban mech we were able to assemble. Uh, I think it was like three hunchbacks I was able to assemble and get rid of. And there was a couple of others, and I can't remember what they were off the top of my head. I think there was like a Jenner and a couple of other things that I assembled and just got rid of them. We ended up picking up, I believe, one double heat sink kit out of that, which was nice. We picked up a snub nose PPC, which is nice. Um, and then I brought forward the Assassin, Omni Assassin. I thought, well, you know, I'll just assemble it, see what we can get off it and get rid of it. And then I looked at it, and I'm like... Well, this thing's actually a really good mech. I was actually really shocked at how well it turned out. So I'm just going to show you what it is. So rather than bring the Vulture forward right away, I wanted to try this one. Because we were talking about doing a head, like, you know, a head shooter mech or a backstabber mech or something along that line. And this thing is, you know, pretty damn fast. It's like a, what, 710 movement, which is pretty good. And it's got a built-in cockpit interface, which is great for the pilot. We get bonus evasion, right? Now, you know, and a, uh, bonus evasion from movement, which is going to really help us out. The range sensors were already in here. Fire control system advance was in here. C3 slave was in here. Now this, uh, I don't know if I'm going to end up keeping this in the long run, but right now it's there, so we're just going to leave it. And then it had 13, 13 hard points. And I'm like, well, what can we do with 13 hard points? And I'm like, well, we can laser boat the shit out of this, which is what I pretty much did. I threw in one of the double heat sink kits. And that's all I really needed. I mean, I didn't really need that much. If you look at the heat sinking here, it's like uh, Alpha Strike 70 heat, heat sinking 66. So, I mean, we can run in, shoot, and then the benefit of the, um, the cockpit interface is that it's a fire maneuver. So I can run in and fire, and then fire, and then move away. So this is going to be a massive backstabber. So we've got a small X-Pulse in each arm, uh, ER small laser blaze fire in each arm. Now, yeah, it's got a jam chance, but... It's got a little extended range and we needed that, but for half a ton it was worth it. And we got one of those in the center torso as well, so we got three of them. And then we got a mag shot in this arm and an AP Gauss rifle in this arm for bonus crit chances once backs are opened. And then we've got a pair of ER small lasers, three regular small lasers, and a tag. So this guy's going to run in, basically, you know, shoot up the back of the enemy and then move out of the way. Uh, we've also got a pair of... Um, mech grenade packs. We've got a variety pack and a regular mech grenade pack that we can use. As long as we're not too close to the enemy, I think it's like 30 meters or whatever minimum. Uh, it's got a half decent range, but we can use those and they're AOE, so we can get a lot of AOE damage off with these guys. So that was the build on this one. It's like max armor pretty much with a little bit less like in the center torso back, which I think is fine. Um, yeah, I know I didn't have anything to go with the uh, fire control system advanced. Uh, but the minus 20 multiplier to jam chance should mean that the blaze fires don't jam. We shouldn't have to worry about jam on these guys. So if they do jam, then there's something fishy going on. Anyway, that's this one. It's also got a chameleon LPS too, which means it sh should remain pretty stealthy. It's got a you know persistent ECM of four on the on the uh, on the unit. And then of course, if we decide to switch it on, um, we get bonus heat. But then we'll pretty much disappear from the enemies, right? Um, it'll just pretty much disappear. So that's a, a good possibility for this guy. Now, I don't use that 
so much uh, all the time. I've used the Chameleon before. You, you generally the four ECM on it plus the because it's on a fast mech. Uh, and all the evasion it generates is more than enough to stop enemies from even trying to target because they just can't, they just can't hit it, right? So that's the goal with this guy. Now let's confirm that. Uh, can cancel. Sorry. Um, oh yeah, sorry. Um, so and then there is the Valkyrie which we bought forward, and we're gonna be running with this guy today. Now I bounced back and forth trying to figure out what I was gonna do with this guy. And at one point in time, I had the clan double heat sink kit in here with a um, snub nose PPC, a medium improved heavy laser, and just a regular medium laser, and uh, the clan double heat sink kit. But then I ran out of heat sink kits and I needed one for the Vindicator. So I had to come back and rethink this guy. So I had to go with the, um, the um, quick cell double heat sink kit, which doesn't cool as well. It has 40 heat sinking instead of 60. So because I was down to 40 heat sinking, I'm like, well, what can I do with this thing, right? So I decided to go with a flamer build. So we got plus 25% flamer damage and heat damage. We've got uh, two heavy flamers, one on each arm, that do 20 damage each, but it's technically 25 and 25 heat damage with the with the cockpit. So it's like 50 heat damage for these two. And then this guy here is doing like 12 and a half. So it's like 62 heat damage for three flamers, which is pretty good, I think. We're going to try to run an overheater on this guy. Now, the flamer ammo, um, it's heavy flamer ammo. These flamers use two per shot, so that's really 10 turns of firing. But if we're moving in and running away, then I think we should be fine. I did put case in here because I, I had extra weight. Um, and once again, uh, I, in this one, I went with the reinforced internal structure to give it a little bit more durability and a chameleon LPS so that it remains hidden. We got probe sensors on this thing to help detect the enemy. Um, a supercharger as well to help get in close really fast. A pair of these double heat sinks are just for the engine because we needed it. And that's about it. I didn't have any targeting systems that I could add, unfortunately, because we we'd used them all up at this point. So I put an AMS flare on here and a bolt on uh, incendiary 15 for a little bit more he overheating power if we can get, get it going. Now I did also consider doing a SRM 6 build where we had a pair of SRM 6s and a laser. And I had acid ammo for the SRM 6s. Plus, I had some dead fire ammo as well. And I wasn't really, like, I didn't really have a, um, like, a, a way to improve the, improve the targeting. I mean, we have Holly SRMs, which give plus one accuracy, but also, uh, you know, a plus 15% chance for the missiles to be shot down by AMS. And I was like, ah, eh, I don't know. We don't really have a targeting system on this thing. It's like, we're not really going to get that well, at, like, that good of accuracy out of it. So I'm figuring... Going with the flamers might be the better of the two if we can actually land these because this like this one ignores invasion pips right, 35% bonus damage against overheating targets. So once we heat somebody up, we can do a lot of damage with this thing. Well, at least hopefully we can. That's the goal, right? To get people overheated. So we'll see how it goes. And then the let me think now because there was a couple of modifications I made. The Panther, I believe, I, all I added to this guy was the um, comm suite plus, which I moved out of the Vindicator, and then the Vindicator, I put the double plus comm suite. Replaced the uh, the, the um, late PPC and the heatsink kit and the heatsinks that we, we lost in the last battle. So this guy's back to exactly how he was, with the exception it's got clan double heatsinks now as opposed to regular double heatsinks. That's the only difference. Um, what else did I do? Uh, Stormcrow, it's pretty much back to normal with the exception that the ER medium laser that I lost I decided not to replace it and I put in a laser AMS. This thing's being targeted a fair bit. We don't have very much AMS in this land, so I figured drop the laser AMS in and hopefully that will help mitigate some of the damage this thing's been taking. Everything else re pretty much remained the same. Uh, there wasn't much change to it. Then the Bushwhacker, it's still being repaired. The Bushwhacker is gone with the Pirate AC5 in the arm. We lost the two X pulses in the head. I can't remember, there's a Guardian ECM in it now. I can't remember what else I did with this thing, but it wasn't a, too much of a change. Um, but it's still kind of iffy. So the idea was that was the Bushwhacker is now going to work with the Crusader to hopefully overheat targets. And then what else? The Bandit Snatch. So this guy turned out great. I, I, I really like this. I haven't added anything in the specialist slots yet because I'm not 100% sure what I'm going to add. I don't have a lot right now. I want to get a, like a... A level one optics compensator 
But this guy turned out great. Uh, Feral Lamellar Clan Armor, which we had installed already. Endo Steel, double heatsink kit in here. We don't need much heat sinking. We got plus two in the core, so it gives us 72. Now this is saying that we're pretty low here. 91, 72. I don't expect to be firing the ER medium lasers all the time, but we have three ER medium lasers in case. These things can jam, so that's part of the reason why the ERs are there. Now we've got an LRM-5, like I was trying to work in how things were going to work, but we got an LRM-5 here with a little bit of mag pulse and chaff ammo just to, you know, help affect the enemies. But this thing was all about targeting enemies. So we've got a tag in here, which is good. We've got powered sensors, uh, gunnery cockpit, gunnery support, tactics support. I put the plus two ballistic accuracy in this one because these light ACs don't have any recoil which is a little bizarre for me, but they don't, so they just have the jam chance. So hopefully that can be mitigated mostly by the pilot. Uh, if we can get some stuff that can mitigate jam chance, that's great. But uh, for now, I'm not, not really that worried about it. If one of them does jam, we've got the medium lasers in the second one. We've got one, two, three tons of precision ammo, which will give us about four and a half turns with both of them firing precision ammo. So that's not too bad. We do have some regular ammo, some incendiary ammo, and some AP ammo to round it out. So we could be firing one AP, and then the second we could be firing like Inferno or Precision or something along that line, or regular. But in, in total, I think we got about 12 turns of firing. So that, that's with both of them firing continuously. I think that's probably plenty of ammo. We got a regular Guardian ECM in here. So that should help out a little bit. The light engine we, we already put in when we first restalled it. Uh, the ammo has been maxed out pretty much, a little bit off the back. Uh, center torso, but other than that, it's been pretty much maxed out. So I think it turned out pretty well. I'm interested to see how it, it fares up in battle. Now it needs to get close. It doesn't have a lot of speed, so that might be an issue. Maybe we drop an ER medium laser and put a supercharger in. I don't know. It's not going to give it that much speed. But um, if we're in an extended fight, the, the ER medium lasers are definitely going to be needed as a backup. So, I mean, I don't ever see that happening, especially with, the, with both light ACs going off. The one thing I am looking for, though, is the ranged sensors to increase the range. Um, I think the Assassin actually has those built in. Or, yeah, they just got, has range sensors to increase its range by 10%. So the, the, all the uh, smaller lasers can shoot just a little bit farther, which is great. I want the same thing for this guy. 360 meters, I think it's, wait, is it three? Oh, I think they shoot 420. The light AC shoot 420, I think. Yeah, 420, so another 42 meters would be nice. Precision ammo gives us a little extra range as well. Uh, I believe, yeah, 30, minute, 30 meters to all range brackets, so an extra 30 meters, so we can shoot up to 450 with these things. So that's pretty cool. That's it, pretty much. I didn't really do much else. We do have a couple of missions we can take before the end of the month. I don't think we're going to run this last lance here. The Bushwhacker's not quite back yet. Um, but, like, it's three days away, so we, I might do it. Depends. We'll see how it goes. But right now, let's jump into the battle. I know it's been a long opening apologize for that we are going to take this one here it's for Comstar and it's against the Marion Hegemony and I want to do that because we are really got to push for quick sale gear now it's been hard to get it so we're going to look for it as much as we can this is a three skull I'm hoping it's not too too bad take the main lance on this one so let's load up Jenkins now I got the Marsden as well we're going to bring that in today. Uh, I don't know why it's doing this. It's, I guess because the mechs were damaged. So if I move those guys out, we load, oops, yeah, we load again. See what happens here. That's it, eh? That's it, that's all? All right, well, uh, Panther's coming down here. Valkyrie's coming down here. Yeah, I didn't even move out the Stormcrow. I guess, I don't know, maybe because these guys were damaged the battle before? I don't know. Doesn't really make that much sense, but there you go. Uh, bring you down. And then we need metal. And yeah, I was going to bring somebody in here. Now, do we have... Who do I want to move up? I know we have a few new pilots... I'm hesitant to try out somebody new. Although I guess I probably should. I mean, uh, i got to keep these guys in this lance. Although this 
guy would probably be the best one here. Because of the sensor lock. I'm going to do that. We're going to move him into the mainland. So I'll, I'll change his name state later on. And then we are going to take the Marsden today. I want the extra firepower. Where are you? Here we go. We'll bring this guy today. So it's got the uh, Pirate SRM-4 and the, the Rotary 5 Pirate. Bring this guy today for a little extra firepower. It's pretty damn slow, but hopefully we can get some use out of it. Yeah, I know. Well, here we go. Where are we? All right, we're behind where we need to go. Almost blind out here, eh? Well. Oh, I see. I see. It's actually not bad positioning. We're going to move up. We can take the hill up here. Let's get you up here. It's a little chunky. I'm not sure why. Position confirmed. Still loading stuff in, I guess. All right, uh, let's get you up here. No problem. On my way. All right. Get you over there. Heading out. Hetzer, uh, I'm gonna put you because I know this map really well. Down there. Heading out. And Mr. Craziness, actually pretty good speed with this pilot in here. It's nice. Pretty good speed with this pilot. Excellent. All right, now who do I want to go in? I'm going. Oh boy. Is that too close? No, we're okay. Up there. On my way. On it. Maybe we take the two speedy mechs in? On it. Maybe? Uh, let's put you here. Aye, aye. Okay, well, this should be interesting. Let's go here. Moving to position. Uh, let's go... God, I really hope it's not turrets. Let's go here. Yeah, I don't know why it's so laggy. Maybe it's the fog. It came out of the fog. Uh, I'll put you here. Copy that. Yeah. I want you just to sit still for now. Holding and cooling. Commander. You, I want down here. Affirmative. And you. Yeah. Right there. Good enough. See what we're up against. Is it turrets? Nope. Drop. At least fires to kill us all. Used to take you with us first. Blah blah. Incoming hostiles. Well. I haven't had this in a while. Oh my god. Orion, Quicksell Black Knight, Grasshopper. Somebody warned me about the Quicksell, not warned me, but told me about the Quicksell Black Knight. Yeah, you shoot that guy right there. Perfect. Beautiful. And what are you? That's the Grasshopper. Quicksell Black Knight, Hoplite. Oh yeah, I just trashed a Hoplite. And Orion. Well. Yes, Commander. Damn it. Well, that's actually pretty good. That guy's going on 13. 15, 16. A lot of us go before him. Let's try and kill this Black Knight real fast. It's horrible that I'm not going to get salvage from this, but he's got to die, and he's got to die now. you got to go away. He's got the Viewmaster cockpit, you can tell, because he's got no head armor. All right, firing. Confirm. This just in. Critical hit. Excellent. 
Standing by. Now, I wonder if we can keep his ass barbecued. He shouldn't. This guy should not have any protection, but. Got a lock. Yeah, I have no idea what the hell happened there. All right, this is a weird fight, so I'm just gonna hope that. Shit, that's like really bad. Uh, who can we barbecue and keep out of the battle? Apparently not you. You know what? How hot is the grasshopper? I think that's our target. But I want to get so we can turn. So we don't really have a back to the enemy. So maybe this is an opportunity for supercharger to be turned on. Come on, it's 50% run. There you go. Calculate that shit. Yeah. We'll take that. We'll get him. We'll get him, tiger. If, it, if the virus spreads, it's your fault. You just went through all the buildings. All right, let's go after this guy, and we're going to put the uh, rockets on. we got to take this guy as fast as possible. That puts us at really hot heat, but it should barbecue this guy pretty good, I think. I'm out of short-range missiles. That's all right. Look at that guy. Toasty as shit. Okay, we go on 15. You're on 12. What are you up to? Turret. Shoot a turret. Ow. Fuck, that hurts. I'm taking heavy hits, Commander. You were? I, I, I didn't see that. Ready for orders. I didn't see a damn thing. Okay, well. Pretty garbage. Mm, we don't have enough resolve. I mean, I could. Oh, God. Torso hit. Oh, most of it went in the torso. Pair of heavy streak PPCs. I can't get behind him, though. I mean, I could push in and then do offensive push, and hopefully it pushes it back. That's a bad spot, though. That's a bad spot. Can't turn much there, either. What about here? It's a little better. Let's go there. I copy. Try and push this guy back. Let's go after... Leg, I guess. Do that. Oh, we landed a few. Minus one initiative. Oh, minus more than that. Minus three. I think I know what I'm doing. That guy's vanishing. Oh, that's the, uh, the top hat guy. I just used parts from this guy to, to assemble a hoplite to get rid of it. But it's the, uh, it's the one that looks like a triple F burger. It's the pirate one that had rotary chem lasers. I was hoping I was going to get those. I was hoping I was going to get those when I assembled it, but it never happened, unfortunately. Moving out. Let's get right here. Might have enough to crit this guy here. But if not, I know exactly what I'm doing. I'm going to fire on this guy. Nice. And that's the way we do it. Look, I'm straight in the back. What do you need? I was going to bring this guy over and shoot him in the back with machine guns and hopefully crit him out. But that if that didn't work, uh, I was going to do an offensive push and then the, the Mars would have a, ch or a chance to get finish him off with the rotaries. That was my intention anyway, but... Let's not try a frontal shot. What about 
Uh, we can't really get a reliable back. I mean, that's kind of not enough. That's just going to get you killed. Um... Got it. No shooting, just running. Yeah, just get up here for now. We need you up here. But the Orion's given the uh, Marsden its back, so we'll take that. Receiving you. Yeah, I don't even think we need to move on this one. Let's jam this rotary. 165 damage, eh? Let's see what you can do. Oh, Jesus Christ. Tango down. I thought that, that the double 20 was bad. Holy crap. All right, what are you guys up to? Oh, lasers. Who's going first? Oh, grasshopper. Uh-oh. That's not good. Oh, he's overheating, though. What's up, boss? I was worried there for a second. I thought he was going to try and get behind the, uh... Moving the Valkyrie. Position. Yeah, we can just have fun with this guy, I think. Turn this off. I think this guy's a melee mech, if I'm not mistaken. So, I don't think it's that much of a threat, unless we get too close to it. But the turret should really finish this guy. Um, oh, I see it's switched this slightly because of... Uh, oh, that makes sense. Just leave that off for now, we'll fire the rest of it. Locked and loaded. Here it comes. All right. Minimal damage. The Marsden's probably jammed. What are you doing, Top Hat? I want to get those rotary chems. Taking heavy hits, Commander. I see that. Losing armor. Because I Losing think that uh, the uh, the uh, p -p 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 pulse laser would be uh, nicely offset by those guys, you know. Roger. Go back up to here. Pretty warm environment. We'll uh, turn off one flamer. Oof. It's way hotter than I thought it was. How much heat do these things put out, though? 18. 36. Uh, because we're in a hot environment, too, right? But it shouldn't be that bad. Anyway, let's just hit this guy. Got the angle. Taking the shot. 33 heat. I'm here. Barbecue. All right, can you kill this guy for me, please? Because that other guy ain't going anywhere. Oh, there's a back shot right there. Well, hello there. See if we get lucky. Confirmed. Chemical fire. Luck. We don't need luck. Well, apparently we do. Got past the armor. Orders. All right, buddy. Uh, we got some vigilance that you can use now. You are going to be super hot, but... Just back up over here. Moving fast. Just get out of this guy's route. Uh, we'll get the rack on. And turn these off, I think. We'll leave these on. I think that should be fine. Nice. Target's taken a critical hit. He should be severely movement impe impeded now. Oof. I don't know why it's so friggin' laggy. Yes, Commander. Yeah, 
yeah, I think there's massive issues with recoils, so we'll drop this one. Just fire the SRMs at this guy. 30%. I mean, that's not bad, but just fire the SRMs for this turn. Taking the shot. Hit mostly Make this. Yeah, it's back shots. Come on, buddy. Bail out. Now bail out. Anytime. Only stressed, huh? Standing by. Only stressed. Well... Let's start moving to where we gotta go. Taking a little too much damage here, although they had a pretty damn heavy loadout down this area, so it's gotta be concerned for what's coming. Although that Black Knight is a massive upgrade. That's, I don't know, I don't know, we'll probably only get one part. Yes. Get over here. We'll get to where we're going. Got a bit of range on this guy. Not a lot, but we should be able to hit him with all this stuff. I'm just hoping for a bailout at this point. Waiting for orders. Oh, uh, yeah. Make sure we turn that off. Now, can I... Come on. We'll be overheating, but I want to hit him with two. Firing on 46 heat, not bad. Ready for orders. Yeah, I don't think you can get around to see him, but that's fine. Let's just head to where we gotta go. Um, we might as well do this, because we got nothing else to do. Does not that it matters. Aye, aye. All right, come back this way for a little bit of emotional support back here. Just gonna uh, fire the machine guns. No point in damaging this thing right now. Okay, I'm on it. Ooh, head hit, nice. Good to go. Now I can't fire the rotary, unfortunately. Wait a minute, what? My way. The SRM-4 pirate can shoot over stuff? How does it... Capable of indirect fire. 20% bonus damage against overheating targets. Minus one accuracy. Jam chance. It's actually... Kind of cool. Engaging with target. Two of them were delayed. Yes. I've already got a full grasshopper. I don't really care. But if we can get him to bail, so I can get some gear, it'd be good. Like, I, I have to get double heat sink kits. I got no choice now. I need at least two or three more. Okay, there's the fall. He's got an open back, so there could be a kill here. Nope. Damn it. I'm receiving you. Well, at least we can do headshots, though. Moving to position. Headshots. Let's not waste that ammo. Firing. This guy's done for, so. Some heavy damage. Come on. You know you want to go. Yeah. Alright, well, I'll see you guys at the top. Alright, well, here we are. Um, so last time we were here, they dropped behind us, and I think they did that because I had guys down here. The, the 
the AI probably detected that I was I knew where the enemy was dropping and then it just repositioned themselves to punish me and I'm a hundred percent behind that that was awesome got it commander so we're to see we should be able to get this opened up nope not yet not yet huh maybe it's a turret on my way find out here in a second there we go come on please be a drop yep beautiful where are they dropping right on the base Wait, what? Comstar Biolab, Boeing, Delta. Got contacts incoming. They drop right on the base? What? Ah, oh, it's garbage. Fucking vehicles. God, really? Two Palisade. Pirate D. Well, that could be bad. Palisade up. Pirate Marsden. That's the, probably the same as the one I have. Oh, that's not good. Uh, I guess we gotta kind of get in here. Affirmative. Got it. Well, at least the flamers will do a lot of damage to the vehicles. All right, let's get our Marsden in here as well. And I don't know why the fuck it's so goddamn laggy. Get on the road. That's uh, not no expose our side though. Let's pull here. Fire support. Down the road. All right, well, let's see what happens. Apparently they're fast. They could just theoretically blow these buildings up. That rotary is gonna do a lot of damage. I have no idea how much damage that thing's gonna do. Yeah. We, this could just be a loss. And there won't be a damn thing I can do about it. Just because of where they're positioned. Commander? Uh, can I get a shot on anybody? Apparently not. It's shitty, but I'm gonna have to reserve. I mean, I could just ping them, but... I think I'm better off reserving. And hopefully somebody moves out into the open. Okay, that's actually best case scenario. I mean, best case scenario is it didn't shoot, but... Ready for orders. Alright, um... Oh boy, this guy is... I'm, I'm terrified of this guy. I know this doesn't make that much difference. Because I don't, I, I think they get some kind of drop protection, but I don't think it's evasion. Maybe I'm wrong. If I am, let me know down. Let me know down in the comments. But we're gonna try and burn this guy as best we can. I copy. We can do good damage with the flamers, so let's try it behind a building here too, which I think we should probably keep us pretty safe. Yeah, not bad percentage. It's gonna barbecue us, but. Oh, he's got so much armor. It will do good damage if we hit. Firing at enemy six. A couple hits, that's good. Palisade. Up. Oh. What are those the Palisade shooting? Systems holding. This is the guy that's gonna just destroy stuff. Oh yeah, shoot the turret. Turret, shoot it. It rammed the turret. What fuck? Holy shit! What fucking world are we in here? I'm here. Hey, dickhead, just rammed the turret. You feel like going over and giving him one, or two, or five? Let's move. Destroy the rest of the base. This base while you're at it, cause fuck these guys. Hey, what's up? Boom, how does a double AC-20 in your ass make your day? Yeah, it's the same one I have. Props to him, one of the few things that can actually survive. Props to him.
Let's get on him. That's a building destroyer. We gotta kill him. Metal affected. Apparently not by much. Wow, the lag. Kinda glad it is just vehicles. Reporting. Critical hit. Excellent. Yes, Commander. Alright, Vital. Oh, Jenkins can get in on that guy. So let's get you up here. Jenkins should be able to finish that guy off with one one or two, like, couple of weapons here. So let's just get on this guy. Good damage. Yes, Commander. Come on, you slow poke. Beautiful. Just don't hit the head, sir. Just don't hit that head, sir. I think it's in a, in a valley, so it should be fine. Fire Mars, then. What do you got in the side? A whole lot of nothing. So let's make sure we don't overheat. Just turn these guys off. That should do it. Enough scatter. Yeah. Plenty. I hit my own guy, I think. Enemy battle mech down. Either that or he's just sitting on something that's on fire. What's up, boss? You don't get to kill anybody this turn. Although you can shoot. I'm gonna put you over here though. Going full I want you on that uh whatever it is, that king, whatever it is. Pirate king. Put you back on. We're gonna vigilance you. Hopefully you can get, get ahead of this guy. Let's see if we can land a couple shots on him. See if he shoots at us. Once, we, once it actually acknowledges. I'm interested to see what the loadout is. Miss Dam. No luck. Inspired. Standing by. Yeah. You got enough speed? Apparently not. The fuck? Oh, he's just down in a little lip there. So I guess... Am I gonna miss and hit my own guy? Oh shit, now I might, I might miss and hit the building. Well. Although I don't think that's one of the ones that we have to protect. Let's just... Oh, uh, <laughs> see ya. Once more under the breach, dear friends. Weapon damage. What's up, boss? That's all right. On my way. Alright. How much can we shoot? Probably one. I don't know. I had the heat calculated. Yeah, just the one. That's fine. Hopefully, I think at 88 we should land it. On yeah, there we go. Target I'm liking the flamer loadout. Definitely a good ve vehicle killer. Heavy flamer is doing 72 a pop. Once we can get a proper double heat sink kit in that thing gonna be dangerous. I do have another heavy flamer. Fucking guy. Did he get it? What the hell does this thing have? Three ATM-3s, a p -p 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 pulse laser, another energy, and a ballistic. Orders? Scooter! What's the armor like? 250 at the front, 170, 100 at the back. Well, we're not going to shoot you from the front then. Whenever, whenever you're in a duel, make sure you're staring your enemy straight in the back. It's the best way to ensure that you can win. You know? 
you can see them. They can't see you. You can do some good damage. Although I'm overheating. Screw it. Waiting for orders. Alright, Jiggity Jenkins. Ah, damn it. I want to shoot my own guys. Nope. Yep. Just barely can target them. It's fine. It's fine. It's all fine. Well, wow. like PPCs don't like the range, though. That's okay. We'll just shoot him with everything. Hit him! Oops. I think I destroyed that building. Oh, uh, they gotta kill two more, so it's unlikely they'll do that. Right. Right. Am I wrong here? Am I wrong? Let's get on this guy so he doesn't shoot a building. I don't know what he's got, but... 40%. Good enough odds for anybody. Let's take it. Ah, damn it. At least he knows we see him. Aye, aye. Aye, aye. Could use some jump jets right about now. Ah, uh, we need to give that guy room to move. I'm gonna come around here and drop some heat. Full speed. Yeah, that's, that's what I would... That's what I mean to do. Might as well do that. What well, uses well, eh? Ow. Someone's got an AC-10. you think you can your mission if you choose to accept it not that you have a choice and to get beside this guy Let's move. and burn him burn I tell you where does he go 17 no he doesn't he does not go on 17 not today not on my watch. I copy. Let's get that initiative off him. Yeah, Negative fuck you. Damage. That's alright. We either get the kill or he's gonna kill us this turn. That's garbage, but we're gonna take it anyway. We gotta get some more targeting computers. I'm telling you, that's actually not bad. Could be a lot worse. I'm willing to overheat. No, I'm not. Oof. Stop shooting the heads here. It's okay, I got the rotary for him. I'm ready. It's me, E. Just shoot him. Uh, actually, you know what? Let's not get too, uh... Nope, back further than that. A little further than that. Still a little further. The stink. I can't target them then. Alright, those damn PPCs in their min range. Confirmed. We'll just back up a little bit. That's fine. Right? Am I right? Affirmative. So much splash! Commander. Finally somebody with some pinpoint. Now you... 
Where's that rotary minimum range? Can we find a balance? Not really. Not really. Let's just go for it then. The rack's not going to heat us up, so... I'm okay with overheating a little bit, so let's just go after this guy. Hopefully we get the kill here. Oh, for crying out loud. Watch those heat levels. God damn it. Oh man, this guy's still alive. All right, you go on eight. This is a pipe dream, but let's see if we can lower his uh, initiative here. Copy that. It's only four. Not going to be enough to get the uh, Marsden into play. We had to try. Fuck! There goes another building. Oh boy. Waiting for orders. Problem is, is if I do this, I'm gonna hit my guys. I've only got eight rounds left. I guess I better be very wary of how often I use this rotary weapon. Like it, I get a Copy few that. good salvos off and then that's it. It's done, right? I'm going to try and target this guy to keep him from shooting any more buildings. Uh, and then let's... Um, I'm going to Vigilance you. We'll come around and blast out of the guy with the rotary next, next turn. Because I think our mech should be able to handle this guy. Let's hammer this guy. Here it comes. Did that say light AC-10? I'm interested to see how light that is. Yeah, see what I said before, even if you target the mechs and stuff, there's nothing anymore that guarantees that they're gonna um, target you. Because this guy, all of us shot him and he just shot the building. He's going before us. Are you fucking kidding me? We just lost. Nope, we didn't. I guess he was trying to flee. He could have easily just destroyed that last building. But I guess he had taken enough damage that he was like, I can't, I can't survive. Let's go after this guy here. Maybe it's because he has his side open or something, I don't know. Alright, um... Can we get behind him? Barely. Nah, it's put me between him and the building here. Or, yeah. Me between him and, yeah. You know what I'm saying. Five. Better chance to hit. Five. Hopefully we do more damage. Nothing. Damn it. Yeah, he could have easily won this game. Could have easily won that. Okay, just keep shooting him until he's dead. Go this route. I love how you blast him, and it's just like a little bit of this goes down. Ready for orders. Sorry, bub. Not enough. I can't get over there, but I can get on this guy. Understood. Moving fast. I can get on this guy. You shouldn't be shooting anybody but me. Turn that off. Fire the rest. That's pretty good. On your tail. Standing by. Oh, scooter. All right. 
I don't know. He could end us at any time. All he's got to do is turn around. Turn around and shoot. I call me. Nice. Mech destroyed. Standing by. Hey. You shot me before, remember? Do you remember that? Because I do. Hetzers with double AC 20s. Don't forget anything. See ya. There it is, folks. Wow, we could have lost that so easily. Mission successful. Well, yeah, over the next little while, the Marians are going to grow to hate us. Because I am going to be targeting them continuously if they've got a Quicksaw Black Knight, amongst other things. Hey, Jenkins got what? Two bailouts and a kill? Not bad. Not bad at all. Um, yeah, you can go fuck yourself. There's two Black Knight parts. There's three. Oh, <gasps> no. Well, now we can actually do a, a little harder content. Although it has two heavy streak PPCs. It's, the, well, maximum 540. Only fires if the roll succeeds. High energy capacity is hard violent for 100 damage when destroyed. Oh, that's bad. A hundred damage when destroyed. Ignores evasion. Recoil of four. Damage a hundred. Heat ninety. How the hell am I going to sink ninety heat? How do you? Uh, I, what? You're better off with a fucking AC twenty. Or a light AC twenty. I mean, yeah, this has got a bit more range to it, and it'll only fire if it's going to hit. But ninety heat. There's another pulse laser. Rotary 5 pirate we've already got. Small rotary chem laser. 1.25, eh? For 45 damage? That's actually pretty good. 5% jam chance for each shot after 3, so 15% jam. Going full out. But then you need ammo, right? So, defense gyro, that's actually really good. Radical prototype double heatsink. Quick cell double heat sinks. I don't have any. I got one, but I mean, be nice to have those, but no. I mean, that's good, but I got one of these already. Or similar. But I don't have any prototype double heat sinks. So without those, it's useless. Small cam. Yeah, so I thought I had an ultra auto cannon 5, but I don't. I don't. Viewmaster Cockpit, yeah, that's what I've been using on most of my quick sell guys. I've only got one left though. Sensor fire control system quick sell. What? 20 sensor range. Targeting weapons control, which does what? Oh. So this merges the sensors and the fire control system together? So you save one slot, I guess? I guess. I should just take this, even though I can't use it. Ah, oh, man, those don't drop very often. And there's nothing else targeting-wise that I want, so I think that's going to be it. Oh, there's the sniper rifle here, too. Damage 20, 10 tons. Oh, it's 10 tons? Damage falls off to 33%. Recoil change based on your evasion. So the more you're running, the more recoil. Technically a Gauss rifle, but why is it so... What does the 10 ST I mean? That's not heat damage, is it? Ten damage to internals. Oh, okay, I see. So that's not bad. 
Silver Bullet Pirate. We got one of these. I don't know, man. This is pretty nice, too. That crit build on the uh, the Panther is pretty nice. Or the, uh, sorry, the, the uh, Trebuchet. Oh, boy. I think we go that route. I mean, I can't not take the Black Knight. So, and this is like ridiculously rare. So I think that's probably good. Let's see what we get here. Grasshopper parts, Hoplite part, Orion part, Marsden part, which is good in case we lose our Marsden. AC 10 can just go. Mediums can go. And uh, we've got lots of, we can just sell that. The 240 core can probably just go. That can go. Ah, we got these, nice. I got a bunch of these, I don't need those. Keep that. Thermal mass, we've got a bunch of this already. We don't have any. Oh, it's a large one, okay. Chaff ammo we'll keep, and the Ultra 5 ammo we'll keep. So that wasn't too bad. I'm actually, I'm going to bring this back in just to see what it's like. Well, that's actually pretty respectable. So I'm just trying to think when I was loading back in, what I want to do with that, uh... Like, we're, obviously the Black Knight's going to be going to Jenkins for sure. Um, but I'm wondering... So we're going to pull the Valkyrie out of service. I wonder if we switch... Where are you here? Here we go. It's ready you. Find out how much is there. That mech you wanted is back online. Because that's... Uh, the two, two Heavy Streak PPCs, that was like... 180... Um, Ooh, it's almost fully there. That's like 180 heat. How the fuck do you sink 180 heat? Wow, a lot of this stuff is still here. Even one of the weapons. So... Okay, quick cell built-in XL engine. Viewmaster cockpit. Yeah, so the sensor fire control system, I guess, takes... Yeah, it takes the sensors away. Which we're not going to worry about. I'll strip that off there. You had quick cell heat sinks? How the fuck could you be running with a quick cell double heat sink kit? And think you were going to shoot these things? Like you would fire them both and then shut down. You got one, two, three, four, five, six. Six additional heat sinks there. Seven, eight additional heat sinks. Eight times four is what? Thirty-two. So it had seventy-two heat sinking, and that's it. It's got the thermal mass, so it would drop. It activates above forty heat, minus fifty-four heat when active. So yeah, if it fired one, if it fired two, this would go off, but it would still overheat, and it does have a sniper rifle built in. Well, not built in. I mean, it's because of this, but. Wow, we got lucky with this thing. Maybe I rethink my designs. Maybe the, um, maybe the Panther could be the mech that we drop out. We keep, I, I work on the heat sinking in the the Javelin, because it's got speed, keep the flamers on it, take the LBX PPC from the Panther, and the LBX PPC from the Vindicator, put them both in here. Maybe. Maybe, maybe, maybe. That's a very distinct possibility. Let's strip all the gear, not all the gear, but some of the gear off of this thing. Take you out. Uh, let's leave you for now. Because I don't know if you're going to be going, staying here or going somewhere else. So we've got ooh, what, 30, 36 tons to work with? I'm definitely going to have to worry about heat sinking. I mean, hell, we could do a rotary pirate build too. I was actually saving this for the uh, the um, the vulture, but 
We have a normal rotary AC5 and a pirate rotary AC5. We could just go an insane rotary build. I mean, the double AC20 would be hilarious too, but the, the recoil is just redonkulous. Well, the recoil here is going to be redonkulous too. Has recoil of 1, plus 1 per shot, so 7, 14 recoil if, if they both fire off. So it's the recoil more than anything you got to worry about. But you could fire one one turn. Now you have to fire them both and then not fire them. I mean, we got the improved heavy Gauss rifle too, 20 tons. Saving that for the Atlas. So we got this HA-30, which I think I want to put on the, uh, the Perseus. Maybe, I don't know. Yeah, I mean, there's options. We could like stay away from an energy build, which would save a lot of heat. And then we could turn, because the the Vindicator is so slow, like I've, I've stayed away from doing LRM builds because I used a lot of them in the past. But we could go with an indirect build on the Vindicator because that's the one thing we, we're missing. And maybe it's a Thunderbolt build as opposed to like, or a pair of MRM20s on that thing. On the Vindicator. I want to max out the slots though, so I don't know if it's going to be two MRM20s or one with acid ammo because it's slow and this guy's slow too so we'd have these guys moving together and the the um, Valkyrie and the trebuchet moving together those two would move in and be the knives and these guys would be the hammers yeah see even maxing the armor is going to be like we we'll lose a bunch of weight there not too much weight, but a little bit. Uh, yeah, I want to get this starting to go. Regardless, it's going to get fixed, so let's get going on it. It'll be showing up at the end of next in-game month. So... Right. I'll get it in the schedule. That's awesome. That's juicy. So in next week. Probably what I'll do is I'll run one more mission for this week. Hopefully I have five episodes this week. But I'll run one more mission with these guys. And then I'll probably jump... Yeah. And then I'll probably drop the Panther once it's repaired. Get this Lance up and running. Black Knight will go up here. You'll go... There. Probably. I gotta check the pilots. I'll probably leave you with the... Uh, no, I think we go this route, because if this guy's going to be the long range, we all want to do sensor lock long, right? long range, I think. So we'll go that route, I think. See how it goes. I'm not 100% sure yet, but that, that, that should work out. And I'm interested to see how this goes. Alright, well, I am going to leave... Actually, you know what? We might do this. We might fire these guys up next time, but we want to see how the double AC-20s go, so we'll do this one next time. There should be something in the command center. I'll have to look. Um... But yeah, we'll get those guys going. Alright, but I'm going to end the episode here, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, drop a like. If you haven't subscribed, please feel free to subscribe. And please drop your comments in the comment section down below and check out that quick sale site. And until next time, we'll see you later.